Hi, Sagittarius. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me, Sag. So let's get into it. So let's see what's going on for you this week, Sagittarius. Sag, keep in mind that you can catch me live here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. Um, you can come for the collective reading, okay? Or ask questions during the live show, all right? So let's see. Oh, I have to sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. All right. Okay, Sag, let's see what the week holds for you. Okay, travel. Okay, so you could travel for work. You could be just driving around, dating. Okay, so maybe you, um, this could be long distance dating too. This could be you getting around. You've got people to see, places to go. Um, maybe you and your person that you're dating, you, you have planned some travel, some holiday romance travel. Um, you guys will be uh, making those plans or actually going to uh, that destination here. Um, maybe when you take someone out on a, on a date, you will uh, surprise them with travel plans also. You could be dating, I don't think it is 100% exclusive, but definitely it is that you are dating someone um, and you want to move something forward, especially if you're long distance. It's like um, you're making plans to see each other, to come towards each other here. Some of you just have a lot of people that you're dating, okay? And um, you'll be seeing them, you'll see other people, you'll just be moving around, moving about. Um, this also could be like getting out getting out there, going out uh, to, you know, bars, lounges, clubs, um, traveling around, you know, looking for people to date. What is the advice for Sagittarius this week? What is the advice for Sag? Some of you are doing online dating too. Okay, in the near future. Okay, so in the near future, something is happening. What's happening? Ooh, we have a no answer at the bottom of the deck. So in the near future, there is a no. The universe is saying no. I think you know what that no is about. In the near future, um, will you see a person? Will you be around a person? Or is this person the one? We have a no answer. All right, so let's see what the advice here is for the Sagittarius. What is the advice? So, okay, I heard like pregnancy. Somebody wants to get pregnant. It looks like it's going to be a no answer. Um, somebody wants to get pregnant in the near future. No. Um, somebody could be pregnant. Okay. Um, somebody wants to know if we're going to get back together. There's a no answer. What's the outcome here for Sag? All right. So we've got the emperor coming out. All right. So we have maybe a male here or a masculine energy. Uh, he could possibly already have a wife or is a spoken for has a love partner this is somebody who um they're very sexually inclined this is somebody who is dealing with a sex worker of some sort exotic dancer uh, a pornography type of individual this is somebody who is turned on by that also uh, this is somebody who likes to feel superior to those types of uh maybe people men or men and women um, this is somebody who's also, maybe this is, this was what they were going after, but now they're kind of ghosting this situation or they're having a change in personality in terms of, um, who they want or what, or the people that they have been entertaining. Also, there's somebody here who wants forgiveness. They want to move towards somebody. They want to take action towards something, start something up again, travel towards somebody here. Somebody could already be committed, but, um, they want to go towards someone else. Somebody, so this is a situation where there's like ghosting, right? Because somebody was rigid in their thinking, they wouldn't, um, they wouldn't allow love in also. They were very boxed in, in terms of how they thought about maybe the opposite sex. Maybe they were just looking at women or men objectively. Okay, but now somebody's having a change of personality because they're going on a self-discovery journey. They're changing their own perso personal philosophy. Somebody also could be changing. I heard a sex change. There's also like change in um, sexual orientation, who they want to be with, who they want to uh, be in relationship with. Um, you know, gay, lesbian, heterosexual, bisexual, pansexual, I don't know, you know, all of those, someone could be kind of shifting that type of energy within them, within themselves. 
somebody was getting around here, okay? And maybe it wasn't conducive to what this person said they really wanted for themselves. Or somebody just, their mind is just changing. I don't know. It's like an energy. I'm feeling tired. I'm tired of maybe meeting the same people. I'm tired of doing the same thing, having sex. And then, you know, we hang around for a little bit and then they're gone. I'm gone the other way. And then I do it again. I meet the same person. I do the same, you know, it was kind of cyclical, a pattern. So somebody wants to break the mold, break the pattern here. Somebody is motivated to do something different. They're throwing their hat in the ring. They're up for the challenge of maybe changing their personality, their perception about the opposite sex, about how they look at men or women objectifying the opposite sex for, you fill in the blank, for sex, for money, for whatever, you know. Okay, the universe, okay, wow. Okay, so I just flipped this, okay, I didn't mean to do that. In short term, is peeking its hand out. Somebody feels like, yeah, like so many short-term relationships. Again, what I was just talking about, if somebody feels like some relationship was for the short term because it had an expiration date because there was nothing happening here. There was no growth. There's no spiritual growth. Somebody feels like they're better off by themselves or they're better off searching in search of something more, changing their own personal philosophy. Something came into your life, a relationship came into your life for the short term to show you what it is you don't want, okay? Sagittarius, and that's why that heartbreak is there because you, you need to break up or you have broken up with someone. Uh, what I was trying to do is because the universe said to clarify the no answer. All right, so let's see. What is the no answer for Sagittarius? What is the no answer? One card for a no answer for the Sagittarius. No answer. Okay, and there we are, the nine of wands. Yeah, somebody saying no to all of these uh, non-committal, um, very rocky relationships that they they're always in question if they should fight for it or leave it alone or you know they're always they're at odds somebody's saying no to those type of relationships they don't want that anymore um somebody's also saying no to the past here in the near future somebody wants to come back around or resurface or somebody saying no because i already know what it is somebody's a sex worker for real all right said i'm gonna leave this where it's at um they could be divine masculine here. There could be somebody, um, same sex here also, relationships, um, or someone has the idea of maybe pursuing same sex relationships. Um, somebody has the idea of wanting something different too, trying to bring their hopes, wishes, dreams into fruition, not knowing how to, not knowing if it will ever come. All right. That's what I have. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there so we can pull your own energy, okay? You and I. And if you want to learn to row, you can do that. The classes are linked below. You can click that link and book your own classes, okay? Um, also, if you're feeling moved to, you could purchase something for me for the holiday season. My Amazon wish list is below and it will be all things uh, relative to the, the channel, like tarot cards and such. I won't ask you to buy me a... Um, you know, a kitchen aid, a uh, blender or something. I don't know what I know. It's nothing like that. Um, also Satch, if you're really feeling this reading, okay. And you understand that maybe, um, you want to come out of this type of short term dating. You want to come into a new, uh, way of being in relationships. I want you to put some, uh, heartbreak emer emojis down in the comment section, those broken hearts down in the comment section. Okay. And I want you to put some X's down in, uh, the comment section so you can X out the old. Okay. And bring in the new. Okay. Let's learn to manifest corporately all together. Sagittarius. Uh, all the Sagittarius collective. If you're feeling this reading, you want newness to come into your life. You know that you need to go ahead and break up or there was a breakup. Put that breakup uh, emoji down there, that heartbreak emoji, and put that X down there to X out old and bring in the new. All right. Thank you, Sag. Many blessings to you. Take care.